Hi guys, I just pulled up to my first doctor's appointment and I'm nervous. I am so much more nervous than I was with my first doctor's appointment with Quinn. I don't know why and I was kind of thinking about it on the way here and trying to think about why I'm so much more nervous and I think it's because this pregnancy feels so much more real to me just because I've already been through it and had a baby and like with Quinn everything was so surreal like is there actually a baby in there and of course I knew there really was but it just feels so much more real this time now that I have a baby and I know how it all happens. Anyway I am going to a different doctor than I had with Quinn. I'm going to a high risk doctor this time that was referred to me so everything I've heard about this doctor is super good so I have high hopes. I also think I'm a lot more aware of things that can go wrong or happen or I don't know I knew of them before with Quinn but since I was everything was so surreal and I'd never had a baby I was just kind of expected the best for everything and this time I'm more prepared for something not the best to happen just because that's what happened before but I really have to go to the bathroom so I'm gonna go in I'll film what I can I don't know what I'll be able to film especially because I'm by myself with Quinn Eric was able to come to every appointment except the very last one and this time I don't know if he'll be able to really come to very many of them just because our schedules are different this time and stuff okay I'm in my appointment I'm waiting for the dog Hi. okay I have no idea what that last clip looked like <laughs> the doctor came in obviously that was such a good appointment. Um, I got so much information and I found out that Eric could have come with me. Um, so now I'm going to make sure to schedule them like when he's off work so he can come to the rest of them. She confirmed that I did have help syndrome last time, which that's something that I was never told that I was diagnosed with, but she said that I definitely had it. She explained everything to me on why I did have it and I'm just really happy. I heard the heartbeat. I wish Eric could have heard it, but my blood pressure is good. I don't have chronic hypertension. I just want to go out and call Eric really quick, so I'll update you guys later. I'm so happy right now. Ever since I found out I was pregnant, we've been unsure on the last day of my last period. So since that kind of determines when your due date is, in a way, we've been trying to figure it out, <laughs> but this whole time we've been calculating that today I would be 12 weeks, four days. And she just said that I'm more like 14 weeks. As soon as she heard the heartbeat, she said it was great. It was like 165 or something. And she's like, if you guys were waiting to tell any friends, go ahead and tell them. <laughs> so, which we have been waiting. The only people that know are my family and Eric's family. So I'm just so relieved and I loved the doctor. I so wish Eric could have been there to hear everything she said. She was so informative, so just straight down to business. Like I didn't have to wait at all. And maybe it won't be like that every time, but that was like, 100% opposite experience with my last doctor, which I really liked her, but I would have to wait so long on stuff. So anyway, she ordered me labs and blood work and stuff and ultrasound. So I need to schedule those. Hopefully Eric's allowed to come to those with me. Guess where we're going. Just me? kidding, you know where oh. we're going. We're going to our first ultrasound. We're on our way there right now. So hopefully, they will be able to tell me how many weeks I should be telling people that I am. At my first appointment, they didn't really, they said at my ultrasound they'd be able to tell me better. So I went to my first appointment thinking that I was like 12 weeks and three days on that day. And they said that they think I'm more like 14 weeks. So I'm excited to be able to like have an exact week to be able to tell people. I'm supposed to drink water. 30 minutes ahead so I have my water bottle that I've been chugging but I kind of have to go to the bathroom all the time so maybe it doesn't matter that much. We are at my parents' house now. We're picking up Quinn. We're actually about to leave. The ultrasound was so fun. I loved getting the pictures. I'll probably put a couple in here, but my name, my full name and like the place I was and everything is on the picture. So I'm not gonna like just show them right now because I made this mistake of doing that when I was pregnant with Quinn and then it took me forever to blur out my name and all that stuff because I was like holding it and moving it around and that's just annoying. So they did say that according to the size of the baby that I am 14 weeks and two days today, 
which is what we had originally thought. That puts my due date at January 16. And I just have a really, really strong feeling that the baby will be born earlier than that, just with everything that happened with Quinn. And if they're giving me that due date because of the size of the baby, I feel like it could be a little off just because our baby is probably a little bit smaller than the average baby. Anyway, there's an update on that. Everything looks good so far. The ultrasound lady did say if my doctor wants to change my due date to a different day, she can, but like as far as the size of the baby, that's what they left it at, so. We need to go. Eric's waiting on me, but I will start this vlog up again at another point. Hi guys, we had a little mishap and my vlog camera is officially lost, gone, stolen something like that. So I am literally vlogging on our DSLR camera until we get a new one. So you're gonna get some good quality unboxings today, but <laughs> what do you have? Quinn got her new play kit from Love Every, so I'm gonna show you what's in it. This one is the Babbler. It's for 13, 14, and 15 months, and guys, this probably is my favorite one that we've ever gotten. I loved every single one that we've gotten in the past, but this one is so much fun. We get quite a few questions about the play kits, what our opinion of them is. I'll just quickly show you what we got in this one and tell you what everything is. This thing is so fun. It's a wooden box with like a little slide thing on top that these balls that Quinn is playing with right now go in. Can you put them in? Put them in here. Put it in. Oh, put it in the slide. Sometimes she'll put them down the slide, but she really likes just sticking them in this hole. And then there's all these little doors. Every side has a different kind of a handle. So she can open the sides up with the doors and get the balls out. She loves these. She's been playing with them for so long. Can you put the ball in here? Put it in there. Can you put it in? Yeah. Okay, push it down. Ready? <gasps> Also, it's definitely the last time for this outfit. <laughs> I was so sad when I put it on her today. Ashley got her that for Christmas last year and it's been one of my favorite outfits, but it's definitely a little tight now. This puzzle is the one she has ever paid the most attention to. She loves it. Look, you wanna do your puzzle? She seriously will sit here for so long with this and I think it's because there's like, kids faces under it so it's fun for her but she has already spent so much time doing this puzzle we got this box out a couple days ago so this is just the most i've ever actually seen her try to put puzzle pieces back in and then take them out and try to put them back in again like on her own okay you're gonna put them back in oh that's the small one yeah good job that's a smaller one good job You did it! Now she's probably gonna take them out again and do it again. She literally loves it. Okay, something else that she loves in here though, it's a bunny burrow. So cute. So it came with three little bunnies like that and she can take them in and put them out and it's good for like counting. So usually when she either puts them in or takes them out, I'll count like how many she's done. And same thing, this will keep her busy for so long, but also Ace loves this thing. He has gone for it so many times and these he would love to devour, these little bunnies. So we have to watch them around Ace, but are those your bunnies? Okay, take them out. There's just so many things that they can learn doing these, like counting or the words in and out. Like take them out, put them in, and where are the bunnies? Just so many like learning experiences just with a little bunny burrow. This one came with a book too, which you know I'm excited about. It's called Bedtime for Zoe, and it's a book all about bedtime. It just shows the little girls like bedtime routine, which I love, where is it? This page about brushing teeth because we brush Quinn's teeth every day and she is just not a fan. What's funny is she literally opens her mouth when she knows that I'm gonna brush her teeth. Like she opens her mouth and lets me do it, but she cries the whole time. So I just think it's funny that she like doesn't even really fight it that much. She just cries while I do it. But I'm hoping that the book kind of gets her a little bit more used to brushing her teeth. Okay, the last thing is this little box and it has like a silicone top that you can change 
out. There's this one and there's this one. So for the yellow one, the bottom is magnetic. You can just take the bottom off and then there's all these little wooden coins. So once again, it's like a counting activity. Okay, can you put it in? But it also like teaches her fine motor skills. One. So I'll literally just count as she puts all the coins in. Two. Oh, almost. <laughs> Did you get them all? Good job. Okay, you wanna do carrots? So now I'll switch it out to this one. So this one came with little carrots and you actually have to push them through a little bit harder. <laughs> she put that one in upside down. <laughs> anyway, she thinks they're both super fun. And then this one, you actually take Q-tips and put them in, but I haven't done this one with her yet. I'll probably do it this week sometime. Okay, the last thing is this stacking ring and it's kind of different than any other stacking ring that I've seen. She has a different kind, but this one's cool cause this actually like moves around. Are you putting the bunny on there? You're silly. She actually does this thing for a long time too. She loves putting them on and taking them off. But I think a lot of times for kids, stacking rings are hard to figure out at first because the stick in the middle doesn't move. So it's kind of hard to get them on. But this one makes it easier because they can kind of bend it whatever way they want it to put the rings on. So yeah, that's everything that came in the play kit. I just know that a lot of people are interested in Love Every, so I thought I would show that. This is so much more zoomed in than my vlog camera. I am not used to this, but it's going to have to work. So anyway, one more thing that I wanted to show you guys and unbox. The company Honest sent us the nicest package. I'm really excited about this diaper bag. Look at the colors, it's like a backpack and none of her other diaper bags are this size. It's like kind of a smaller size. And until our next baby is here, I feel like this will be perfect for Quinn because we don't really need a huge one right now. I'm not taking bottles with us wherever we go now and I really like don't need as much for her. So super cute. And then they sent a bunch of wipes. This is so cool because they're sanitizing wipes and I have wished so many times that I had like some kind of a sanitizer for Quinn when we're out and about that's actually made for kids and I know I've seen them a few places but I just haven't gotten any. There have been quite a few times when I've wanted to sanitize her hands after we leave somewhere but don't want to use like the one that I would use. They sent us some diapers and then some other products to try out. I already got them out but that was so nice. Okay, I have Eric <coughs> filming for me. What? I have Eric filming for me so it's not so close to my face, but I hope you guys liked seeing our first appointment and ultrasound. We were so happy to have those. I've actually already had my second appointment now. I filmed it, but it was on my camera that I lost, so I'm gonna do an update about it, but yeah, leave any questions below. I will do my best to respond to comments soon, and you can always message me on Instagram too. I don't really post anything on Instagram, but I do try to reply to most messages, so. You wanna be part of this? Can you say hi? <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna say bye now. Can you say bye? Say it. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Say bye.